Hey everybody, this is my first vlog of the new year, 2022. I'm at Zaxby's getting a salad and everything else because I like it. Uh, could have cooked at home. But this is the weirdest new year I've ever experienced in my 59 years on earth. And I pray for 60. Because we wake up in the middle of a pandemic. I've got my mask that I used to uh, go and take care of an exchange at Kroger for my mom. I'm here helping. Uh, 2,000, over 2,000 flights were canceled today. I was contemplating going to CES to cover it since going on 12th year as press. But how can I get into Las Vegas? And if I get in there, it's a super spreader, right? Looks like it. Um... And I'm wondering, you know, I've got to go and get some cough medicine. I've got this. Thank you. Hold one moment, please. And then I got the food. And I'm just wondering if everything is... Hey, you got a New Year's resolution? And no one has a New Year's resolution. Happy New Year. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you get the idea. It, it's like uh, people are just trying to, I think, get through. And, um, and uh, I got somebody behind me trying to get their meal, so I better get out of the way. Uh, put that over there. And, uh, well, one moment. Please. Okay, so now I'm at, briefly at a stop sign. I'll explain when I park. But what gets me about this year is this is the first year that we went into it collectively as a planet without a sense of collective optimism. Hmm? And that bothers me. We have a huge trough to dig out of. Question is, how are we gonna do it? Now, okay, so here I am now, I'm in uh, Eden Fresh Market, still vlogging. And yeah, I'll put my mask on. Uh, because, hey, that's a norm now, right? You you think about it, that's a norm. And can you tell me really where this virus came from? Right? Don't say Wuhan, China. Hey, looks like it really started here in America. I mean, as a contract to research back coronaviruses, which was then given in part to uh, Wuhan China Lab, food by Echo Health here in the United States through the National Institutes of Health. Oh, uh, jeez, man. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you folks is we messed up and we don't want to admit it. That's the thing, okay? Wow. We, okay, we're so anyway. I'm shopping. It's New Year's Day. It's not crowded, thankfully. And now I'm going to get the milk, right? That's what I'm going to get. All right. So I got the milk. So here I am, the first year of 2022. I'll be 60 years old this year. Ah! I'm not married. I'm not a father. I regret both. Not that I had a golden opportunity, but. Hey, but I'm here helping my mom and I'm really proud to be here. At the same time, I maintain my place in Oakland and because I kind of didn't expect the way things were going to turn. That's life, folks. You got to be prepared for things. You got to be prepared to adjust too because you can lay out a plan and then God turns around and laughs at it. Um, you got to be able to adjust. I started this company before the pandemic and it just so happens to fit right in with the pandemic. Who would have thunk it? The Lord, thank you God, for giving me the brain to think of the thing to make sure that we were okay through this. Oh, my Lord, oh. But my point is I'm not the only person with these ups and downs. It's a lot of stress on a lot of people. Uh, and then there's our decision makers. That's why I call this the age of unknowing because our decision makers don't seem to know and yet they want you and I to think they got this and that they don't call on us for ideas or if they do it's really the people that they like or who put some money in their campaign or something like that if I sound like a guy who's never been in politics I have been in politics I've worked for politicians if I sound disgusted and jaundiced it's not that I'm disgusted with politics I'm disgusted with the fact that our leaders have lost it. And our leaders are you and me, all right? 
and we're afraid to lead. We're afraid to admit we don't know, but it's about our ego. You gotta say good things, gotta agree. Okay, all right. Hey, we're in the middle of bad times. Any politician that wants to be fawned on in the middle of these times is nuts. Just letting you know. Get the stuff right. Restore our basic standard of living and then ask for thanks. Hey, I don't get any thanks. Chances are I'm interviewed you. You didn't send me a Christmas card or New Year's card or a Happy Holidays card. I didn't hear from you, but chances are I sent you something. See what I'm getting at? A lot to say. Okay, I'm back in the car now. <laughs> Some of what we're going through reminds me of that song called uh, Flagpole Sitta by Harvey Danger, where he said, I've been around the world and saw that only stupid people were breeding, the Cretans loading and feeding, and I don't even own a TV. The trouble is, what to say you don't think that way about me, right? <laughs> That's why I say we're in the middle of the age of unknowing. Because the idea that I know isn't respected by you, and the idea that you know isn't respected by me. And yet we need to figure out what the frick is going on here so we can move forward, right? We can't do that as long as we regard each other as stupid cretins. I'm just saying, all right? And I'm not sick, but I'm not well either. And I'm in hell, but then so are you! Ah! Which lends the idea that Earth is actually hell and heaven is being away from it, right? Okay. Um, be careful out there, folks. And remember, regardless of what's going on here, the one way that we, you and I, can just contribute to making things better just to be nice to each other and stop assuming negative things about each other. You know what I mean? Um, it takes a little to make a lot. We need to start doing a little to make a lot like we used to. Subscribe to Zenny62, bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com and you know the rest.